Testing. Yeah. And we are live. Emails, Emails are great, great way to stay, stay in touch with one another. another. It's all right. Write online, online and talk to a friend and stay in touch forever. forever. It's, it's all right. right. Emails are like telepathically through a machine. Email something something better than your best dreams. Email is a great way to stay in touch with one another. It's all right. Email. Email. Ying yang. Ying yang. Ying yang. Ying yang. Email. Email. Ying yang. Email. Ying yang. It's a line. Hello, everybody. Did you like that? I liked that. Oh, yeah, that was ah, All right, all over the most expensive oh, thing I've ever bought in my life. Thank you. Fuck. Don't worry. Keep going, keep going. Hey, what about how you Well, this is just going to be the first half hour, and I think there's a... No, 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 show the people your pretty face. Show them what you've been produced to. <laughs> Come on, keep going. Miss, stop it. No, no, what are you doing? It's Encourage good. this more. Look, it looks like the Murray mm. Darling, doesn't it? Uh, there's bits of filth in it still. Yeah, that's just extra flavour. And... Don't I'm forget not about this it. teeny puddle here. Oh. Ali, have a go. Help him. No, out. I am not <laughs> sipping that. Particularly because oh. like, I can see that the edges of the table haven't been cleaned in ages. <coughs> no. I usually do a quick you fix had so go. that the audience can't I saved, see it. I saved some. I'll, but get, I'll get a little sponge. As has been clearly demonstrated, there is no point doing that to miss off side of the table. And that's why Ali very cleverly did the rest of the table. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the one uh. side that I didn't clean. He's sipping all of that. Dude, oh. did you hear... What happened? Rush Limbaugh, oh. the most important voice in America, is no more. That is incredibly sad. Oh. And you know what else was extremely sad? All Rush. these types that there's always two or three of you ne'er do wells in the comments that are saying, mm, debate fucking whoever his name is, platitude. I don't know. But oh, destiny. That kind. There was heaps of them, and then they all had their. Hot cake on him dying, which was every last one of them spitting on his grave. Yeah, the greatest Jesus. man to have ever existed. Who did that? The, the fact that Time Magazine put his face on, I'm guessing, like James Madison or whatever, the uh, signing of the Declaration of Independence. Fair. That man is as much of a patriot to America as they it's, are. It's it's a tough. And he really was d- defending their values. Yeah. He was the voice. He was the voice of the Constitution. I, yeah, I, I was <laughs> mostly I was really because sad. his voice was funny. I was thinking that for in in his honor, uh, we should do uh, Rush Limbaugh tonight. Yeah, we should. We should do a segment on Rush Limbaugh. Also, that camera isn't working. I'm glad it's still the pre-show, so I'm going to go and quickly fix oh, it. Oh, for fuck's sake! You what? have two minutes in the break. <sighs> what a! And by that he means right now. Don't worry, I'll just pour more coffee in the well if we go low on material. Yes, we are the natural torchbearer to Rush Limbaugh's legacy. (laughs) (laughs) The camera doesn't work. Spill the coffee. I think you're going to have to justify this. Like spilling the blood of Americans. A lot of people are just like, how? No, it is good. Yeah, see, and that's why. Why do you think that? Because you listen to all of those people saying, I'm glad he's dead. Hurry. The industry was so much bigger than him at the end. The point is, he was a great entertainer. If you ever listened to his program, it was funny from beginning to end. Yeah. I mean... Do you want me to check it, Ali? No, it's okay. Um, Tell me that it's a good thing that someone is dead who used to refer to Kamala Harris as Kami Harris. <laughs> He is no more. <laughs> oh, you're always, and you you're still always, hate him, do you? You're always doing it for the memes, and that's why I love you. Yeah. You know? Kami Every Harris. time that he was ever referred to Barack Obama, Barack Hussein <laughs> Obama. I think we're going to have to... Um, I think we're going to have to play on our Up Late pod. Subscribe on Patreon today. Uh, we'll have to play Rush's theme song opening up. Yeah, the pretenders. That's what I'm saying. This man understood humor. Anybody who understands that slap bass is the most hilarious instrument of all time Mm. has a real penchant for the comedic arts, which was Uh, him. um, You know, he used to also, I've already spoken about this before, but the fact that 
<clears throat> every time a liberal rang up his channel, uh, his his radio station, and they got on the line and they went past all of the uh, you know checks and balances to get to him, and he sussed it out. He'd just play a toilet sound effect, <laughs> cut their mic, and then go, another liberal down where they belong in the sewers, flushed out of the colon of America. Dude, <laughs> cancer. And you're saying that that's a bad thing. That man was bad. Cancer incarnate 69, which I assume is a uh, allegory for Russia's passing on as he had cancer. Said just well, I think it's his legitimate name. Just because someone is funny doesn't excuse the horrid shit he also well, said. Well, look, that's, that was predicted. That's but what you're going to get. You, but you guys don't know dead. Jordan. Now everyone's talking about his legacy. What? But the, Yeah, but the thing is but that leg- every everybody that, everybody that our uh, audience listens to, they're always just going to have that. It's just like, look, I know for a fact that when you talk to our audience, they're always going to, if you if you pay Trump in the slightest, which he was a US president and the most powerful man on earth, he did good things, yeah. <laughs> you know, like just, just like George Bush Jr. did. Doesn't mean that I'd vote for them, but you're trying to give out like an accurate portrayal of their legacy or whatever. Well, what about his... But, and th- this is the accurate portrayal of Rush Limbaugh's <laughs> legacy. He was hilarious. <laughs> That's true. He was funny. He was a comedian. He was a comedian. <laughs> and just the fact that everybody's sitting there being like, oh my God, I can't believe that he said horrendous shit. Oh, I'm sure you're a saint. I'm sure that if you had a microphone in front of you for three hours a day for 25 years, you couldn't be clipped. Uh, I know that I am. And I only have a mic in front of me for an hour a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> With barely any technology working. By the way, I couldn't fix that camera. Right. So, so that's just now. Now, <laughs> and then there was one. Do, <laughs> there was do, one but, do, do, do. but after the pre-show, when we go on a break, I'm going to cut the stream and I'm going to try and fix it, and then we'll come back. So hopefully, cool. for the actual pod, we'll have the other camera as well. They don't need to see your pretty face. <laughs> and also, I'm, I, I do apologize for saying that Trump was the most powerful man on earth. It's clearly Robert Pattinson. Hey, also <laughs> cancer incarnate says New Batman. Go ahead. It looks very good. It, it does so, actually. It does, does, it does look pretty good. good. Yeah. His yeah. mask looks stupid. I hate it. Yeah, the mask looks dumb. And the, the armor looks like. So what is that? It just did you make that at home? But I'm sure it'll be good. All and right. The, welcome the big to question the here is why isn't Kevin Costner the new Batman? <laughs> <laughs> he was the old Batman. No, was he? he wasn't. No, what no. was Kevin Costner? I swear he no, was. George Clooney was. <laughs> no. no one will ever replace him. Yeah, no one should ever. What about Val Kilmer? I don't even know who that is. I only know him <laughs> from Batman. It he, wasn't he the guy Dick. that in Top Gun who Dick. did that. That's Val Kilmer, right? What? Yeah, Top Gun. Who did that? In Top Gun, there was a guy. Uh, Kevin Val Kilmer is in yeah, Top that's, Gun. That's I Val don't Val know what the fuck that is, Dude, but it, I swear it was. I think a you're thinking of Healthy Harold. <laughs> <laughs> did you have that, pa- you have that in Pakistan? Uh, yes. Um, All right. Well, welcome damn. to the friendly Pure Jimmy's Haddard. pre-show. Welcome. Can we? We were gonna do something. Thank you for the, all the stuff that we have been sent. Let it's time for gift unpacking. Are you guys excited? Oh, yeah. Damn, unpacking with a packy. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot it this way. It's not if it, if it. I hope it's what I think it is. And if it is, it's really nothing special. Package number one. Ah, oh, wait. Who's that for? Uh, this is for friendly Jordy. Oh, friendly Jimmy's. Poon Smuggling said Jordan's legacy is being funny, rude, and controversial with the goal of stopping water corruption. <laughs> Russia's legacy is being funny, rude, controversial to make everyone hate non-whites and gays. <laughs> is that real? Is that was that his legacy? No, let's be real. I don't even know. His legacy was dead, permanently <gasps> gridlocking Washington. That's what his legacy was. Yes, yes. we've got yes, Martin. Oh, we were just Martin. Running out. Tea time, yay! Tea time, oh my god, yes, dude, more turmeric. Hey, more how that much one. of our audience knows that reference? Sindoy. How many of you are deep down the YouTube hole, i.e., the first layer of it, which is red, red, tea? Let's see. I know Miss Love knows. About I know it. now. There's a letter that says "Get pegged, Ali." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Uh, Can I see? Well, it was a fair, dude. Is this like some demand? Is now? this a newsletter written by the band Tism from the eighties? I can only Maybe. assume that's what this Maybe is. Maybe that's what they branched into because they certainly Christmas. didn't make money out of the band. <laughs> Mr. Murdoch has passed this on to his good friends Tism for contribution, a Christmas message. 
Okay, I don't know what the hell is what the hell this is. This is serious, Geordie. Listen to Swerve Driver Miss Love. <laughs> is that just a band? I don't get it. Are you just telling me we're gonna we can't read this now because this is like a this is this is just like a communist a manifesto document. essay. This is the shit that people hand you out in the streets of Newtown, being like, "Have you heard of Anarchy Man?" Yes. <laughs> you know what I was thinking that was what. Those are kind of like the demands that the Lutherans pegged onto, uh, speaking of. This is Murdoch's yeah. personal Christmas message to his employees. Wow. What? Yeah. Why does the man that gives us tea have access to that? I t- <laughs> How good that he's the gatekeeper? Do you think that the editor he's of the, the Australian, Chris Mitchell, is a fan? <laughs> <laughs> so wow. So Rupert hustle. Murdoch. Yours sincerely. What? It's obviously not an original letter, but it'll be cool to read. It's okay, we're going to read up. that. And we'll, I think we'll have to address that maybe on the up late pod. Yeah, shine up. Or the, uh, whatever this is called, Twitch. So let's give some sponsorship because I'm sure this is not just a pretend company. No, that's not. This is the expensive shit in Woolies because it's organic. Yeah, but look, that it's really expensive. does need to be uh, evened out with Hillary Duff. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for my tea, right? No. Oh. Wait, where'd Jordan go? <laughs> yeah, he bounced. This Come back. Crazy. All right, miss. Yeah. This is artwork. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy. <laughs> it's like I'm looking at a mirror. <gasps> miss, like, glance to the side. Holy shit, I love Tammy. Yeah. That way? That's amazing. He's really. He's really captured the permanently Sorry. confused, stoned look in Miss Love's <laughs> Dude, That's <eyes>. fucking incredible. <laughs> All right, exhibit number two. That's amazing. You... Oh shit, it's kind of- Oh, that one's kind of broken, but that's okay. Let's yeah, see. and he's captured the impish, evil, and gay <laughs> look in my eyes. <laughs> Damn. He really has. We were just talking about how Jordan's Korean, and I think it's been fucking it's solidified. In fact, that's the only thing that's not accurate about Miss Love's eyes. They should be about 40% squinty. <laughs> <laughs> These are amazing. Let's see the- All right, last one. Oh, oh, and let's I, see. Chiku. You have to- Well, we're going to have to put that up on the wall, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, well, we should put this all on the wall. Yeah, we should put- Let's see the last one. I can't- Okay, I'm going to have to look. I'll have to turn it around and- Damn. It makes you look like a criminal. This is like a police <laughs> sketch of somebody that's uh, committed an assault. Dude. Who did this? Well, we've got a letter. This I'm is gonna, a yoga okay, okay, We've got a letter, incredible. so I'm going to read it out. But Holy, This is the first time I've ever had a fan. And you know what else? He, he's he got a real knack for capturing people's eyes and the emotions behind it. Because yeah. Ali's eyes are just permanently melancholy, aren't they? Dude. As happy as they are sad. This is, I'm, I'm just, I'm like blown away here. Okay, just the letter starts off being funny. The front says, it's got yellow stains on it and it says, excuse the OJ stains, this is not piss. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there, buddy. It's probably coffee. All right, so dear Ali, Jordan, and Miss Love, Shit. thank you for providing me with quality one-sided banter and depressing information that's delivered in such a way many Simpsons references in brackets that it softens the blow a little. I've, I've <laughs> been a fan of this channel for almost two decades. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That's incredible. <laughs> what did we, it hasn't been on air for two decades. Maybe just she means Jordan. <laughs> but, the pod added, the, but, but the pod has added a layer of love. I started painting during lockdown in Melbourne and fell in love with that too. So here's a few pieces I did in hotel quarantine before moving to sunny coast. Thank you again for all you do and in the way you do it. I included a bag of my favorite chips to sh- share because there was two for one sale and I thought, why not? And Tisha. you kept the other one, did you? Tisha. Thank you, Tisha. Tisha. Tisha, that's so lovely. You are a champion. This is a bag of chips, but like it's been crushed. Yeah, I love chili chips. How crushed? Not too crushed for us to eat. Thank. Hey, Tisha, you have great. First of all, you're super talented. This is insane. Second yeah. of all, you're super sweet. And third of all, you've got fucking impeccable taste. They're the best chips. They're my favorite chips of all time. Do you want to get married? 
I uh, wouldn't ask that. But, no, uh, I would because this could get f- interesting. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's. <laughs> I'll move these because what? Okay, so her faces. Miss Love should get married to someone for content. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's be honest. At this point, yeah, let's just go. The let's whole hog. let's get that OnlyFans account doubled. <laughs> <laughs> but come on, dude, are you guys not backing this flavor? I am one hundred percent backing it. Tisha's a lovely. You know lovely what? Uh, lovely. Jalapeno and red chilies reminds me of. Every uh, car trip that I've ever been on that gets slightly deserty. Yeah. Ah. Don't you think oh every shit. time you're ever driving <laughs> out break past it. the oh, wheat so. belt of New South Wales, yeah. for some reason That's your choices are always, okay, Cheetos, Cheezels, or Kettles, Chili, and Jalapeno with yeah, red chilies. because the chili reflects always think, the desert. I'll choose the Cheezels. Well... Speak for yourself, but like it, it, it reflects the desert, doesn't it? Because it's just like, yeah, it's your hot, barren, di- like dusty, dry land, yeah. and these chips are hot, barren, dusty, dry chips to reflect the environment. True, it's sick. This is really like this is cigarettes, the chips. Yeah, we're gonna be Very munching. Harsh. We are gonna be munching those down. Thank this, you. This is exclusively for Miss Love. I this does hope. not have friendly Jimmy's or <laughs> Love Miss Love Ali. This just has Miss Love Bella Bradjik only for him and no one else. So I, it very, hasn't been opened. Yeah. You know what? I'm already angry at this gift in advance purely because for the last two weeks, Ali, has, he just rings up Ali during work time every day to go, can you just pick this up from the post office? And even though Miss Love lives closer to the post office. <laughs> not true. This, is, this, this went to the PO box, dude. Stand corrected. I'm pretty sure the PO box is in Central Australia, and that is cl- slightly closer to Marlowe. All right, this let's is, see what the is mystery my, is. This is what my is tea. It? Hopefully, I'm very. This, this, if this is what I think it is, it's going to be a really sad reflection on where my life is at and the things that excite me as the 31 year old man. I think we're just going to have to replace that banner with the pick portrait. Yeah, yeah, I think we are. We can do that. We, let's do that. Oh, this is special. Actually, there was a request me. in the chats asking to make uh, that portrait one Jesus. of your profile pictures. Okay, I don't know. This could just be heroin. Oh, shit. Because it's wrapped up in some sort of... But I'm hoping it's what I think it well, is. thank you very much for this towel. And... Yes! Oh, what is that? Max Force Maximum. All my problems are over. Sick. What the hell? Why is this prescription medicine? And why is it in a nice cloth? That is probably more expensive I, I, than that. Yeah, the cloth I'm going to keep actually because I really need something for my guitars, and this is actually perfect for cleaning guitars. So thank you. Can for Can you the read awesome it out? Cloth. What is it? But Does see, the same company that makes Panadols make this? Why is it in this paracetamol Dude, box? And the, oh. you know how much that cost? Take a guess. Oh shit! Why does he send you the receipt? I don't know. He probably. Why? I, <laughs> I have to. I have to find the guy's name too. I have to shout him out because he's a fucking legend. Real quick. What? It Give was fifty this. bucks. It was fifty bucks. This is the real deal. That you guys are, are trying gonna, to help how are you me. Gonna get like so the rat nice. to or cockroaches to eat this, dude. Listen, I can oh. I can tell you I can give you a deep dive. So into this, this is for, so for those of you that couldn't see it because it's more. Well, it's I called find. Max Force FC Magnum Roach Killer Bait Gel. For, Here we go. Here, uh, for use in commercial and industrial areas. Mary Campbell. Thank you very much, Mary Campbell. You hey. absolute legend. She sent a just instructional video on how to get rid of... It's like a degree. I have a degree as in, a, in, in a pest killer. You're the best. You're the best in the world. It says for medical and transportation emergencies only. Oh, this wait, is no. serious shit. So you remember how I bought- So this is what they must use in hospitals. Well, do you remember? Yeah, do you, yes. Do you remember how I bought that stuff that was just like, yeah, 10 fucking liters of some spray you spray on the fucking floor and your perimeter and get rid of cockroach. Yeah, this, that was like- a, can, I, can, I, can I please see it? I'm so excited. Oh, this that is, was like Homer's first stint of trying to regrow hair and it was that huge bottle that had a picture <laughs> of Kim in the front. Yeah, so it was that. And basically she messaged- This is Demoxinol. Yeah, 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 exactly. She messaged and she was like, that that won't work. That's shit. And then she was like, this Max Force FC Magnum is the shit. And then she was like, you know what? I just sent it to you. So maybe, maybe with, 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 with a little bit of like my fucking share house will- Let's take one step closer away from being like New Delhi. He's <laughs> hoping because 
I think that this is the only way you would have ever gotten this because it really seems like to purchase this, you Dude. have to implement the slightest bit of effort. Well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> you can't also, buy it in Australia. it's over $10 and we yeah. all know that that just goes into your pedal fund. So yeah. it's not... <laughs> He's never going to have $50. Yeah. All very... Uh, dude, you, you really do know me, don't you? Yes, I uh, do. But yeah, that's that. You're an absolute legend. That That is not from Australia. I think you can. You have to buy it from like a specialty store in the States or something. Wow. Yeah. So I'm very excited. And that's how sad my life Bayer is. What does Bayer do? Are you going to everything, I thought surely. they were like... I thought they did like medical supplies. Who, who sent you this? They would, but Mary I think Campbell. they're working on Are you going right to ask now. her to marry as well? Have a bit of a harem going? Uh... <laughs> I'm not going to just ask everyone that sends me Come gifts. Come on, bros. This is what happens Well, she didn't send not- chips. Just propose to her right now. Just or just it. become Muslim. You can have four. Because let's be honest, miss. True. And the way Someone it's going, Sharia law you. is going to be here in any year. This bloody right show. Uh, sorry? You, you've, you're up to two already, but I think this is the horse to bet on because <laughs> <laughs> she, she's really like doing the basics of life that you should be able to control. I know. You should you're actually right. marry her. She will fix your life. Yeah. Yeah, all right, both of you. Okay, both of you guys, will you marry me? Both of you. There you go. Put it out there. I'll, uh, is that a legally binding? <laughs> well, it's going to be fun. Um, awesome. The you, uh, you campaign are- begins, I suppose. <laughs> Get <laughs> Miss Love Wants a Wife, the show. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that would be good. Yeah. Uh, Instead yeah. of Farmer Wants a Wife, Guido <laughs> Wants a Wife. Yeah, she was really lovely. Uh, I appreciated the cockroach killer. Uh, couldn't have, I wouldn't even know where to find it myself, frankly. Uh, a little bit disappointed she didn't paint a portrait of me, but you can't have it all. Well, is and this is great because this is now we can, now that we've got this. I think the next uh, thing that we should be pushing for our audience to get is Ali a strap on. <laughs> no. Get him a strap on, just so we can test it out. It really needs to end there. Come on, guys, poll. Who uh, wants Ali to get pegged no. and then tell us what it was <laughs> like? <laughs> so you on. thought I was going to be the one Come getting on. embarrassed. You thought I was going to no, be the one. No, absolutely If someone not. sends you a strap on, if it's like a teeny one, just a little teeny. one. Like a teeny. Like a the micro size of a penis tampon. one? Yeah, just, just that. <laughs> just to see what it's like. It needs to go there. This has been too long of a joke. Ashton and Kutcher can't you says- imagine the views... If one of the little clips is just a shot of you looking sad or kind of just like this, and then <laughs> said, I got pig. Yeah, thumbnail. <laughs> the greatest thumbnail of all if, time. Uh, I Ali, if I, can, <laughs> if I can get. That's if I, true one. If I We're can ask. demonetize so quick. <laughs> Do you reckon? Dude, it just I don't think the YouTube algorithm knows what pigs are. <laughs> Get out of here. Of course they do. Do they? Well, maybe maybe either. they won't because then like I could just say that's homophobic. You <laughs> deleted my I get pegged or demonetized it. it Does sexual work. comments get demonetized, do they? God, I don't know anything well, about the hard, algorithm. It's hard to tell now what gets demonetized and what doesn't. Ugh. But anything that you are thinking, oh, this might get demonetized, will get demonetized. <laughs> that you know what? <laughs> Dude, if I, could, if, I have, if I can ask two people to be my wife, I think you can take one for the team and just, you know? What? Right that in the- That phrase I don't has know never been mean. more accurate. <laughs> take one for the team. Wait, wait, why am I taking one for the team? You're <laughs> marrying two joke. people. Well, I'm taking one for the team. Oh, so like you get two- Wives and I get pegged in the ass. Watch Fair the difference. By your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, gee. Well, you missed the joke. Watch well, the I'm difference. I'm not going to peg you. Huh? <laughs> Watch the difference. Watch the- <laughs> <laughs> That's such a dad joke. That's like you, oh, you're, you're 10 years too early for that one. Uh, I love it. I love it. No, I'm, Fair I, I, deal. Cancer incarnate saying fair deal. I am so excited. We, we, our, our fans are like fucking legends. They're keeping us hydrated with organic products on the left not on the left not this fucking sprayed on with you know monsanto bullshit this is like 10 times more expensive and the, this is nothing but spraying on monsanto and that bullshit. is just <laughs> so yeah two sides so it evens out we should just put this on this <laughs> <laughs> just in, instead of fucking that like what's that shit called like stevia just <laughs> a little spray of <laughs> max force <laughs> fuck hey if you're listening right now uh can you tell us if Miss Love has a tiny little piece of that in his tea, if it'll kill him? Yeah, because we need content. <laughs> That's content. 
<laughs> all right. Well, it how about content, how it? about we yeah. how about we go through the comments and we come back after the break? But just for you guys, we are going to come back. The stream is going to go away because I'm going to try to fix that camera. Because right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right now much. we used to have three cameras, then we have two. And now we, we can't have one. <laughs> we're Come on. Too much yeah, money on this. Keep going. We're let's get a half of one. We're Dude, go back can we? Three. Let's get. Hey, I'm not doing three because of you. Because you use the other camera with the settings for your videos. Boys. So I sacrifice that for the team. Okay, come on, Thank come you. on. Can't we get one of our cameras to the point of my camera phone on my iPhone? <laughs> I would like that cross. The Christian, the Jesus cross right now. The inherent cross. One and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. on, that would be that the purple thing half. on the side too. If you don't know what we're talking about, check out Miss Love's TikTok. Yep. Every single video <laughs> he does looks like the poltergeist in... Uh, paranormal film <laughs> yeah because it's so degraded as well yes. people start to get people start to get pissy at me about it too they're just sort of like stop fucking change your phone and i'm just like nah i'm waiting till it goes full circle and you think it's funny again <laughs> <laughs> all right well we'll go on a break we'll be back in about five minutes hopefully with two cameras otherwise just one hello whoa i hope that it's working it doesn't uh, seem to be working. No, nah, it's uh, <laughs> Hey, Jordan's doing the well, robot. It's a really good sting cover. But <laughs> <laughs> or possibly uh, Foo Fighters cover. Click out and go back in, Ollie. Mm, let's see what we. Let's see what Twitch is saying because this could uh, possibly just be what we're getting. I reckon yeah, it's maybe. it's a click out thing. Email, hype train. Okay, guys. Can you hear us? They can probably hear us, but the stream is still doing that. Okay, one second. You, can you guys see? What are you seeing? Let us know. We can hear okay. Uh, yeah, Ali, click oh, out, go offline and go online again. We have... Uh, no, nah, it's frozen for them too. Yeah, yeah. We'll be back in a second. We'll be... One second. Let me... Yeah, okay, we should be back now. And we have... Smell good. We have a live audience. We're going to have to get this into a poll. Miss Love has just bought 200 shirts. He wants to put Forest Hall on them to sell them. And I posit that you will sell probably 70% more if you print on it Forest Ass <laughs> instead of Forest Hall. You know what? Would you buy Forest Ass <laughs> over Forest Hall? You know what's sad about that? You're fucking right. I think I am. You are. Poll. Poll, get the poll going. Uh, Let's poll. See who, poll. Who's, who would vote? Who would buy a Forest Hall shirt? Who would buy a Forest Ass shirt? <laughs> and while you're thinking that, welcome to the Friendly Geordies podcast. Thank you for joining us. And for those of you that were here before, apologize for the technical difficulties. But now we've got two uh, cameras, baby. Look at that. You did it. We are up to 66% of capacity. <laughs> <laughs> The highest we've ever been. Yeah, it was so. a it was a Texas no, there was a lockout. glory year there where we there was maybe two weeks where we were as good as the average Twitcher that just started out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that just isn't friendly Geordies, is it? No, well, uh, and it's certainly not friendly Jimmy's. Well, when we had that <laughs> pimp a studio, things were very different. That's yeah. true as well. That was weird. But that, was that also not us cost either. three grand an episode. How crazy that's, was that? That's, that's, that's crazy. We were paying three grand for just those bobbleheads that are just like really far in the background. Well, we weren't that's paying true. anything. No, I know, but like- Twitch was paying three Totally, grand. but it's just so weird that it's just like, yep, three grand. Why, why is that? Is your basketball hoop. We had to cart that up four flights of stairs. That's true, but there was also the added advantage of us asking Pete once- do you think it's cheating if you get a rub and tug? And then he said, yeah, yeah, I think that's cheating. And I think that that was worth the $60,000 that that <laughs> Twitch spent on this. Hey, oh, hey do you know what? I noticed something. I've got another question. So I was on Patreon the other day and they had like a, they're apparently doing some changes to um, the payment way or like the currency that they usually charge and they still do it in American dollars. They might just switch it to Australian or something. But the advertising for that had... Nick's face on it. Why? I guess he's like one of the top patrons or Patreon For associates pa in Australia. But here's Holy the thing. Holy shit. He has significant, or like their podcast, the Back Pocket Podcast, 
I mean, it's great, and the guys are lovely, but it has less patrons than ours, and certainly less than Friendly Geordie's. I don't understand why his face was on it. He's I a handsome that. handsome boy. No, he's definitely handsome, but it's also the fact that he doesn't make a living out of saying the most controversial <laughs> things he could possibly say. No, and I, I think the brands want to be associated with people that are nice. I'm pretty sure he said that <laughs> GTA was an okay game. That's blasphemous. That's well, canceled. you know what? That is way worse than anything I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So I don't know. It is. He uh, said it was okay. The the, the the audience is asking who Nick was. Nick What's his Nick was, was the one with the beard. He was from Good Game or whatever yeah. it was called. Good Game. Good game, okay game. I can't remember what it was. It was called name. Good Game. Yep. But but was Nick the one with the <laughs> beard? Be, they should have just called their new show it's OK not. Game. <laughs> <laughs> Same faces, less budget. Yeah, yeah well. But they did yeah. have like the only thing I can think of because they started their Patreon when we were still doing it. So we used to hang out with them at the time. They're like, they catapulted to they had some several hundred patrons. They had some, But then they yeah. just stuck there. But that's because they are a known entity, and on top of that, they're very brand conscious. Also, and so they actually know to. how to, you know, market themselves to advertisers. Where I just come up to them and, and say, "Hey, I snuck into Craig Kelly's house. Do you want to put an AMP logo on that?" I don't think they do. <laughs> hey, were you even supposed to say that? Well, I've never actually done that, but I'm saying. Theoretically, if we ever went and asked for sponsors that aren't <coughs> sending it more than just sending us free tea, <laughs> I wish uh, I wish bloody well. The same Max Nick Force. told us that we are unsponsorable. <laughs> That's true. I remember that. I remember that it because hurt, the head of bit. Twitch Australia came in and said, "Well, boys, I'm not going to level. I'm going to level with you. Uh, it's been great. Really enjoyed the podcast. Probably not worth Amazon splurging." Close to a hundred grand on twenty episodes that we didn't see a cent of, and we're going to give you another twenty. And we're going to give you another twenty, but maybe you should look into sponsors. And then we said, "Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen." And then Nick said, "Look, I like this podcast, but let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to be? Who the fuck sponsoring anyway, it? And fair, yeah. But hey, hey, this, is, this my entire brand." Is built off of attacking other brands. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's but very predatory. Here we go. Like, and I'm going to break this news right now for our audience too. We are in negotiation with a very, very watered down sponsorship deal. Are we? Yeah, which will not give us money, <laughs> but it will give us commission. <laughs> Dude, do you know what oh, it is? That's right. Do you, know, do you know what it is? It's <laughs> yeah, that's so. Right. It's actually the only appropriate way we could get a sponsor. But it's a good deal for our listeners. I'm not going to break it up now, but let's just say a telecommunication company. <laughs> if you could call it that. Well, it is like it is. Like, I suppose you can it, call it, it that. It has the network of another big telecommunication company whose name starts with a V. Mm. That are going to be offering exclusive friendly Geordies. I don't think that, that brand that you're talking about that starts with a V is a big telecommunication <laughs> company. It might have been when Kramer was the face of it, but <laughs> hey, look, Kramer's more controversial than I am. We can't, right? we can't like start paying them out already. <laughs> they haven't even agreed to it. <laughs> is it Nokia? I swear it's Nokia. Buy no. beware. No. So what? What? The, what our audience is, is going to get is like a really, I really wish. good mobile deal with like lots of data. For frack for like way less than the market price, but the the thing is, it's not. If you have your own phone, then it's going to be a great deal. Well, let's be honest about what this deal is. It, what we are offering you is Sony Music comes along, says here's all these albums for the low low price of thirty dollars. What we have is the Pirate Bay of telecommunications companies. Yeah, but it's like, it's not illegal. It's just like, it's- It's, it's not a, illegal, but it is the same it's thing. It's a brand Let's, that- it's, it's a third uh, world country. That is not true. Brand. It is based in the UK. Is it? Oh shit. Yeah, it is. But, but it UK was set up by for, third world cunt, surely. Well, look, here's the thing. The, the, the brand started off in Australia to attract immigrants to make cheaper phone calls overseas. But now- the brand was bought by another big telecommunication player whose name starts with a V, so they have the same network as the V brand, mm. and they are now just giving the energy really competitive <laughs> rates to everyone. The, the thing right. is, because their name, their brand name isn't that big, 
they are trying to get market, which is why the look. If you're the one, if you're someone who by the end of like <coughs> the month when they get their mobile plan bill, it's insane because you've overspent on data. That's a problem that's going to be that's going to belong in the history books for you. Well, let me keep just keep talking. Wait, wait, basically, <laughs> let, 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 let me hear him out. Let me basically, hear him out. for a fraction no, I, I of the wanna price, the, I want to join the company. For a fraction of the price, you will get let's just say six zero gigs of data a month. What that price is, what that brand is, and how this is going to work remains to be heard. Remains to be heard, and it will come to you when we get when we finally seal the deal. But just so I'm that we're interested. back in the good books of this brand, and the reason that I agree to it is because I think that it is a good deal. Here's a little preview of what we will be saying. Insert company. If I wasn't so lazy, I would switch over from Optus, but I am lazy. Yeah, That's no, my will, guarantee. Will, but also, for you, Jordan, <laughs> you're actually one of the only people for whom this, this deal is not worth it. Because, <laughs> because you don't have... I barely have a phone. Because you have a brick phone. So oh, this, yeah. this, this deal is really good for people that like data, that like to use data. And so it's going to be a fraction of the price that you already pay. But anyways, we'll get to that later. It is not a pyramid scheme. It's a genuine brand. <laughs> I'm not taking their name because I feel like I can't take it just yet. But eventually. No, we- that's fair enough. You've been very diplomatic as always about this, Ali. I do actually, from what you were explaining to me off air, which is exactly what you explained to me <coughs> on air, I really do think that this is aimed specifically at our audience. Because it's about screwing over bigger companies <laughs> and clearly, because it was invented by Pakistanis, I'm assuming. No, they it's gave not. A lot of Don't ruin gig. it. They gave a lot of gig <laughs> and that is because it's uh, designed by porn addicts for porn addicts. It is not. None of this is true. Because the UK stands for Uruguay Company Republic. Spell it with a K. It stands for... Like the United <laughs> Kingdom, but it, it was is not. It's started. not the United Kingdom. Okay, look, there is a slight bit of cat. But like, why are you ruining a prospect? <laughs> so the, the thing is, like, and it I was bet you it's like the United Kingdom in uh, what, what's that called again? The uh, Congo or something? No, no, the Cayman Islands. What's it called again? <laughs> British. British Virgin British Islands, Islands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Islands, so it's just, yeah, yeah UK Virgin Islands. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was started by an Indian guy in the UK. <laughs> See? Uh, okay, what did that? I say? <laughs> uh, Your only gripe with it was that it was just by a country that used to be India, and let's be honest, is. <laughs> it is India. <laughs> yeah. Just join it already. Close Stop scaring the planet with no, constant threat of nuclear war. <laughs> hey, we Just might be it. able to afford more than those fucking cardboard pieces if we are no, nicer I, to I, them. I, yeah, I appreciate we could, your. Uh, but we're still not going to replace <laughs> them. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate your your uh, you know like intuitiveness and going for it. Your proactiveness, yeah. Because like I I would be like scratching my head to know what company would would be would be keen, but they're out there, man. They well look they're. Isn't that just such a perfect summation of this podcast as opposed to... Because really, Nick, Gus, and Pete, and I highly recommend that you go listen to their Twitch stream unless it competes with ours, in which case I will run them into the fucking ground. (laughs) But uh, I don't think that they do it on the same day as us, so go for it. And you pretty much are listening to us three except for replace politics with the politic of StarCraft Two. Yeah, Yeah. which... They're great guys. I really do like all three of them. And they're funny. And yeah. they're insightful. Yeah. And I used to just sit there every week before we went on, and I was sad that we had to go and do our podcast because I wanted to learn more about how much GTA Five cost. <laughs> I'm really interested in that. Things that I personally have no interest in, I really do like listening to people that are in the you, know. You do, about, don't you? You yeah, like people, sport, yeah. Uh, gaming, well, let's be honest, it is sport. But... Yeah. Uh, is now... Continue. Well, recently it's gotten more popular is what I'm saying. <laughs> recently. recently. <laughs> what? Recently. It has. They weren't doing fucking Call of Duty Korean battle games in 1999. I think they were. No, they weren't. Well, when did StarCraft come out? Because that's when tournament gaming started in Korea. As soon as that game exists, they still do it to this day. Really? You will go to Korea I thought that and should- their version of soccer- is I just know watching a couple of nerds no, I know sit that. there and play StarCraft 1, but not I, even 2. Hey, no, can you I, tell us a story of like that video that you saw? Or I think you even made me watch where there's a blackout in Korea. <laughs> <laughs> 
What happens? <laughs> it really is amazing. There's a news site there, and I think it's called NBC, which means NBC, but they can't say C. NBC. <laughs> that was one of their major media companies there. And in fact, my agent in Korea, his name was Moo. Isn't that a sick name? I want to call my kid Moo. Dude, can I just can I just add something to that? <laughs> but, but. Before you go on, when I, I got in the I got in the river, I, sorry, I got in the uh I've got whenever I get in the lift, there seems to be like a n- different kind of exotic dog. Yeah. I met one the other day. I was like, oh, what's your dog's name? Garlic. Yeah. Sweet yeah. potato. A lot no, of No, I said, what's Asian your dog's that. name? <laughs> Not what's for lunch. Mm. Same thing. Same thing. Oh, oh shit. Do you think that that's Panthera, why they're Actually, that's just a fact. Well, that's just a fact. Uh, damn, well, that was a good joke. That was a good joke. Uh, but yeah, what, what's the go? I'm like- I don't know why, but I think that that is a lot more appropriate than what we do in the West. I really despise- I disagree. Well, you like it when a dog is called Bill Shorten. Yes. <laughs> well, I do. That, that would be sick. Yes, I do. I, I'd like but, that too. I like real. I like those names, but I like. I also like. Come on, Bluey. I like those too. But garlic. I thought you'd be into that. You'd be like, hey, I like garlic. But it's just stupid. It's just very silly. Very, very silly. So you don't think calling a Chihuahua Bill is silly? No, yeah, I guess. I guess it's also silly, but it's just. It's just it, it works. That works. The other thing doesn't work. Well, I think chihuahuas might be one of the exceptions to the rule. Yeah, maybe. If you meet a chihuahua called Tyson, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not pretty good. Yeah. Wait, it's not appropriate. It? That's the whole point. It's like why your dog's name is great because it triggers all of the genuine Muslims in your family. Yes. And it triggers like Was everyone. Was he again Nimbin or something? Not your dad though. Your dad doesn't care at all, does he? Well, if for a very brief second he cared. And oh, yeah, yeah. Be- Sat Guru. <laughs> <laughs> Rumi, Rumi. <laughs> you imagine if he named his dog Sad, Sad Guru. Hey, I met someone. Did I tell you this story? I was taking him out for a walk in the bush. I met this guy <clears throat> and uh, he asked me, hey, what's your dog's name? And I said, Rumi. Um, I was very, very prepared to tell him like, yeah, housemate Rumi. But then he was like, oh, Alfred the Poet? I was like, oh, fuck, you know that. He's like, yeah, actually he is. Uh, most people think it's uh, it's kind of annoying that I'm naming him after a poet. And his was like, yeah, look at my dog. Do you know what his name is? I was like, well, it's like Banjo Patterson. See, that's nice. I don't mind banjo as a name for it. Banjo. Is it a cattle dog? Yeah, that's yeah it was dog. actually. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Actually, yeah. That's fine. But just call him Australian. banjo. Don't give him a last name. He's a dog. Also a poet. But what about calling a British bulldog Winston Churchill? Too long. Well, you Winston. can only name Churchill. Winston's great. Churchill. Churchill. I like Winston a lot though. But I do like giving bulldogs very gentlemanly names. Yeah. Well, English bulldogs. Well, Aussie Bulldogs as well. Just anything with jowls. Nah. Or, Aussie Bulldogs okay. have to be called like Basta or Zeus. Yeah, okay. Or uh, Okay, but an American Bulldog should be called Mitch McConnell. Fat Dyke, Mitch. On, Mitch Fat Dyke on Crack is asking, what's, uh, what, uh, what about Cunty? <laughs> Cunty. Yeah, I mean. Jesus, if Fat you, Dyke on Crack. If you hate your dog... <laughs> I guess. Yeah, these, these are all. All right, options, should we should we move on to like our first segment? What yeah, poo poo head for a dog. But yeah, no. Now you know. you're being very silly. That's too silly. It's too silly. silly. Well, uh, the first the first Starcraft. thing is I, um, hot news today for the algorithm. Craig Kelly just resigned. Uh, mm. Watch the latest. Go. I am I don't very think happy that's gonna about work it. For the algorithm. <laughs> Come on. Because I don't think enough people know Twitch. who it is. Having said that, coming out tomorrow, which when this is released, would have been five days ago. I'm doing a video on it. Oh, okay. Uh, but well, go on. I'll give my take on it, and then you can reserve your take. Please for don't say take. Hey, you don't like take. Not Those fun. are the two tensions in our long and very successful friendship. <laughs> the fact that you refuse to give up the phrases left and right, oh, right and uh. that you use the word take, take, and barely ironically as well. <laughs> You'll put on... A faux ironic voice, but you do like the word. And I've got to say, All it right. does tear me up inside. By two cents, there you I go. suppose. Two least, cents is so much. How much better is two is cents? At least my two cents. Or even just get, go older than that. My two bob. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a fucking cool How much saying. better is that than take? Yeah. Is, yeah. My, two, my two bob is good. Bad two bob. 
Nah. Well, at least he doesn't bad say bad Bob. At least that's what you say if it's a bad try. Bad, bad Bob. Bad at least boy. he doesn't say bent her. That's my. That's my like trigger. Dude, word. the problem with all what these about this? Words this will are... kill you, Miss. Mm-hmm. This will t- shave a year off your life. Bent. <laughs> all of these. Words. Adam Bent. It's so. It's so hard being your guys' friends because words that are like trending very quickly Ooh. go off in like the friendly Jordy's uh, sky house. Yeah, the I remember house. when like, the hype house. I, I remember the same thing <laughs> happened. I literally triggered Jordan once because yeah. I used the word cooked a six months too late into cooked. the psych house. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Right. And Jordan was like, all right, that's it. That's enough in none of this word. <laughs> that's so funny. Fuck. But I just hate any word that people on Twitter use. Like the fact that they're now using chart. Do you get it? It's a play on chat. <laughs> I, love, yeah, I am the product of nepotism. Dude, his impersonation of any of those kind of characters gets me every time. Every time. I can't I can't not chuckle like belly laugh. It's so good. It's so aristocratic and, you know, for lack of a better word, privilege. Jordy's the word dictator. That is true. Yeah, I am. I'm we a were, word dude, Nazi. But so Barnes is asking, what's wrong with cooked? I don't mind cooked either. I like cooked if surfies are using it. I do not like it right. when fucking people with, no offense, Ali's glasses <laughs> on Twitter are using it. <laughs> and that's what really screwed it up for me. And can that's I, probably the reason that Ali uses Can it, I be honest with you guys about something? I am very seriously considering for the first time in my life getting contact lenses for that reason. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, it does actually suit your face. I know, though. but Just like, and you don't have the buttoned stuff. up shirt. To but like, go also, with. why does have you noticed this? And I'll be the first one to say it. Every Indian man that is not pov in Australia <laughs> looks like me. Beard, glasses. The only difference is that their opinions are slightly more cunty than mine. Yeah, true. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm not that far off. Oh, yeah. Man. And when I was in Pakistan, and as soon as you sat in with your friends, couldn't tell the difference. I, it, was, it was impossible. <laughs> Why do all that of us wear glasses? That was a police lineup. I, I swear that's know. the thing. All of us wear glasses. Yeah, because you've all got shit eyes. Why? 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 I don't know. Asians just have shit eyes. The brown man. You go to, right. Well, it's not just Indians and Pakistanis. You go to Korea, everyone wears glasses unless that's they have cool. contacts. Maybe that's like a yeah, fucking right. genetic uh, advantage you guys have. You get skin cancer, but you don't have to wear glasses. <laughs> yeah, why do you all have bad eyes? I don't know. I, don't know, I really don't know. I mean, surely you need them just as much as we <laughs> do. Especially, dude, the desert's a harsh land, I assume. Well, not all of those places are deserts, but in oh. Australia is mostly desert. But true, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so but look, the white man. Stole off from so like, look, my, look, 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 <sighs> my two cents on Craig Kelly was that this is the first time that I think there might be a non-liberal MP in um Hughes. in Hughes because look. Well, let's be honest. Was he ever a liberal MP? <laughs> <laughs> but we'll, we'll reserve that for your thing. But like, come on, don't you think that the vote bank, the liberal vote bank, is now going to go between him as an independent, the Liberal Party, whoever their candidate would be, and then the Labour Party candidate? Well, when I was speaking to Jack about this, he was saying the same thing that he thinks that Labour has a chance in hell <laughs> of getting the seat of Hughes now. Oh, really? Yeah, because yeah. And I hope that it goes to that chick that you like. Because she sounds it, like such a sweetie. Anyone that hands out pamphlets of how to vote for them at a train station, I'm voting for them. How does it work it's just now? Well, I'm glad that I wasn't in Tony Abbott's electorate because seeing him in his jacket going, Good day, remember me? I used to be on Sky News a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and now my uh, ex-girlfriend is. What? Handing out pamphlets? No, oh, she's on running Sky for News. Hughes. What? Yeah. Is that a controversial thing? I thought that was no... What? Your girlfriend is on Sky No, News. not my girlfriend. Oh. His girlfriend, Tony Evans. I thought Evans. yours. I was like, damn. She, I didn't know she was a politician and a teacher. No. <laughs> Peter Credlin. That's what I'm talking about. Jesus. Wouldn't it be amazing if Ali is secretly dating Peter Credlin? Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> if that's the case, I'm definitely getting pegged. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right, Ali. <laughs> I think there is a chance that someone else can sweep it out from underneath his feet. And I'm especially happy about it because Craig Kelly is now going to be doing damage to the Liberal Party. 
He's saying at the moment that he's going to remain loyal and vote like a Liberal MP, and he probably will be in 99% of the cases. But the fact that he is holding that power, you know that he's doing a lot of backroom deals. Mm. And he will just be saying, balls in my court, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the reason that he resigned in the first place is because for the past two terms, the wets who control New South Wales have been trying to oust him. Pretty much because they're like, oh, my God, he doesn't like the theatre. <laughs> and that, I'm pretty sure that, that's really the cultural divide in the Liberals, isn't it? Uh, Dries think that the ballet should be funded. Wets think theatre should be funded. And that's why I'm more of a dry than I am a wet, because ballet is so much better. <laughs> oh, guys, come on. Can we poll this? Ballet yeah, or theatre? Yeah, What's more entertaining? It. I reckon... I think uh, I reckon they're both the same. I don't know. Uh, they pretty much are, aren't they? It's just too much prancing, not nearly enough dancing. Yeah, no, 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 too much dancing, not nearly enough prancing. Apparently, like ballet is disfiguring girls permanently. Like it's the female version of uh, football, footy. Like you get concussions, what? But except in this case, you get like spinal injuries and like it uh, fucks your feet up. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, it's definitely our equivalent of the when they used to bind Chinese princesses' feet. And I have the same views as old Chinese emperors had. It's hot. <laughs> ballet dancers are hot. Are all is the there such a thing as an ugly the, ballet no. dancer? I don't think that That's, exists. It's your kind of hot. It is my kind of hot. Your it's kind of hot is different from certainly my kind of hot. You don't like him? Well, hot. you like him. Um, <laughs> you funny fuck. <laughs> what? Why? Yeah. Is that, it's it's a funny that was like cut. It's a the funny one non-joke I've made. I know, but it's just a funny cut. I'm putting it out there. <laughs> it, it hasn't been said enough. He's Kent for funny Kent. Go on, go he, on. He also likes the buddy. Yeah, now there's a guy that likes Bella. <laughs> you also like the body of 12 year old boys That's yeah. your shtick And I suppose that is kind of ballet dancers Except I think I it's the, the, the body of a 25 year old tradie <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's hot But you know why I think it's hot I think the work is hot I don't think the figure is necessarily even hot Like I, the discipline and the And the, and the bleeding and feet work. That's true I really liked Black Swan Which is just like Ow my feet I'm like damn You're working hard for you Ballet dancers work their asses off for their Is art. it true or is it because Natalie Portman said so? No, it's true. Okay. My, my mum used to do ballet. I don't know much about No, we went to Newtown. Fucked. Her feet are still fucked. Yeah. I think every single dancer now has scoliosis and arthritis. <laughs> yeah. yeah, arthritis yeah, is a serious thing. Yeah, my mum's got it from but ballet. It, this it, was the other we thing. We should there do wasn't, this. It, it, like, God, God Newtown was OP'd. Come again? I just went to UNSW and you were just used to living in nirvana and then you go into purgatory which is the real world but when we were in new <laughs> town it was like two girls for every boy and also two out of three of the boys are gay yeah. so we had pick of the litter yeah. of the hottest chicks in sydney which is Damn. chicks from the shire check they're already hot to begin with but they're also dancers and there's no such thing as a dancer with a bad body and also on top of that, they used to starve themselves so they had good skin. <laughs> and Jesus. they don't have problems with you've smoking. Over, you've they all thought. smoke. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. My, shout out my first girlfriend, remember? Year seven. Oh, McNamara. Who's we now dating say her name. some... No, no, no. Let's probably not say all this. <laughs> Maybe. McNamara is like every other Dating some Penrith Panthers here. But anyway. <laughs> And right. let's be honest, that's what a down, well, what a she down shouldn't grade. be dating someone from the Panthers. She should be dating someone from the Sharks, but I'll let it slide. Hey, Butsu Barnes is asking, wait, starving gives yourself good skin? That's a Jordan question. Yes. No, it doesn't. St I don't know if starving yourself gives you good skin, but I'll tell you what does. Fasting. Yeah. yeah. Fasting gives you that good skin. That, well, that's the Fasting same thing. Fasting gives you good everything. <laughs> Sandy you know just messaged saying, fuck Jordan. I assume because it's just going to be like, Jordan calls out some random Penrith, Pan Penrith Panthers player saying he's not good enough for his wife. News. No, 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 com. she'll just be sitting there going, oh my God, he said the dancers are hot. <laughs> <laughs> and let's be honest, yeah, they probably will clip that and out of context. But I'm going to defend it. Well, dancers for the are record, hot. Wait, that is, is cancel worthy now? Hot. Wait, that's cancel worthy now saying that you think dancers are attractive? No, because like, but I'm just saying there's Christ. diversity over here. I like, I think chunkier is better. So, you know, there's enough diversity over here. So let's not get all canceled. <laughs> you like average women, neither too slim. Neither That's the whole thing. I right. like 
classical dances. You like contemporary dance. <laughs> <laughs> I like rap video dance. <laughs> <laughs> he likes he likes BET. Uh. I like ballet, and you like crackheads. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a cunt. That was no, unnecessarily cunt. true. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> like, let's be real. Like the cra- You like that crackhead look, though. That's uh, your thing. I don't know what a crackhead look is. It's out. just the more... Uh, I like pale skin tones. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The more someone looks like the mum in train spotting, the better. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> it's true, though. No, that is it, your taste. No, it's not. It is. <laughs> Oh God. All right, I'm not look, win this. we move on to our second segment. This is a quick one. Um, Mishlev, did you know? Facebook? You know, you know. Sorry. Yeah. No I did. I just, I just really need to know this, Ali. Why do you like them? As Plyce would say, thick. <laughs> well, there's like I don't like them necessarily. What you're thinking of, but what I do like is, I don't know. Someone would like a little. I, I'm telling you, it's an evolutionary thing. Like bigger bottoms are like uh, better for childbirth and shit. Um, you know, bigger, um, I don't know. We should be, but that doesn't explain me then because I actually do like chicks with my body because your body is telling you, your body is telling you that your seed is not worth spreading. Man, I thought you said, (laughs) you you know what it actually is telling me. It's, it is actually telling me that it's just like from birth. I was genetically predisposed to, you're just going to be in a career couple. You're not going to have kids. You're just going to have a dog that a nanny looks after, yeah. and you're going to live in an eco house. That's really what it's saying to me, I guess. You're right. right. But that's the thing. The reason that I can trace it back is I like women that are clearly very disciplined. I think that that's why I've always got a thing for ballet dancers and uh, news anchors. <laughs> why? So I, didn't know, I didn't know news anchors are really disciplined. Well, I just imagine that Aren't you would have to be. Are they all functioning alcoholics? I swear they're all functioning alcoholics. News anchors? Yeah. Why? Because Co-cats. I read about one who was saying that she was a functioning alcoholic. <laughs> who? I can't remember the name. Not even that cool. big of a news anchor. Like one of the people that work in the background at like, I think Sky News or some shit. See, that's what I think. I think that you could be a functional alcoholic if you are on Sky News at 2 p.m. Mm. But- if it's you're a one of the main dude. people at the front, like, dude, ABC. Peter Overton, I know this for a fact, Peter Overton and Mark Ferguson are extremely vain. And you've seen that footage that went viral of the three chicks going, oh my God, you wore the same outfit. Yes. I told you not yes. to wear that. Yeah, I think that like to be a news anchor, you have to be, in, in prime time, you have to be in your prime. Otherwise, they're just going to get rid of you. Like they did with Megan Kelly. Boom. Yeah, and remember then when there was that guy... I can't remember his name, but obviously you kept Brian Henderson because he was an institution. I think that they pretty much kept him because he did this at the uh, sign off to every. <laughs> Do you remember this? No, I don't even you remember Brian Henderson. About. No, definitely not. God, I love that guy. Is he the guy on the ABC who's like, I have a brown, uh, a gray streak in my hair, and you know I'd be a nice man? Okay. I think you're thinking of Richard Moorcraft. I just assume that's every. Uh, but he's very handsome as well. Okay. So anyway, I don't know. Brian either. Henderson was the exception to the rule, but I think that he more than made up for it because his sign off was for, I think, 50 years. Ali, put it on me. <laughs> this is Brian Henderson. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> was he the old guy? Amazing? Was he the old guy from like Win Regional News? I'm sure he did his time at Wink. Okay. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he just went straight there because it was the time when everybody thought that television was some kind of sorcery. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe he just rocked up straight into the Sydney offices and was just like, well, I look like I smoke a lot of cigarettes. And so they just thought, yeah, get him in there. Park his penny, penny farthing outside and get in there. <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ. And uh, yeah, but I remember that after that, there was another guy that they put on that had the most experience in journalism, i.e. went to East Timor and had a gun pointed at me. Mm. It wasn't and loaded, but it was still scary. I'm just guessing. And you're right as always. Psychic ah, missile strikes again. Damn it. But then uh, he got kicked out purely because he looked like an old Quasimodo. I remember it to this day. And then they replaced him with Mark Ferguson. And then Mark Ferguson didn't rate and they got rid of him. And then they went for Peter Overton. Not as handsome as Mark Ferguson, but with slightly more experience. <laughs> I love these experience levels. Like, what does that mean again? I've done more coke. Like, that, that's what it means. <laughs> more experience. I, no, no, no. What about this? 
I've held a glass of brandy and looked smugly at a lot of executives. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's yeah. what they trained for in, in college. It's really cool thinking about them having some kind of gamer bar at the top of them that just like in Morrowind, the more you play it, the more experience points it has. <laughs> yeah. You ate half a dozen oysters. Three points. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's so true. You bought a house in not North Ride, Ride. <laughs> Good choice. 50,000 experience. <laughs> 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 All right, perfect. Um, good ride. Good let's choice. move on to something that is slightly more meaty. Well, I don't, I don't even know much more about meaty this. Than that. We're talking about <laughs> thickness. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally, meaty. But, um, Miss, did you find out Facebook is about to reinstate all news websites back? I did see that on my gym sesh. What do, what do we feel about this? The, it was fun while it lasted? Yeah. It, they're also, just, like, they're just caved. Isn't it clear that, yeah, the government caved, right? No, but it's Facebook caved. To, no, fuck no. No, no, the government There's caved. There's no way Facebook caved. Well, they came to a compromise, but Facebook got more of what it wanted. Really? Wait, so yes. do, you know, do you know anything about oh. what the, the compromise was? I don't know, but I am assuming that because Google just gave a payout to the big three, so Stokes' media, Fairfax, and the Murdoch press. This is Fucking ridiculous. What? Why do they get payouts? This is so unfair, man. Like, I know that, like, the whole uh, <clears throat> Google and Facebook are the future, you know, evil corporations. But, like... But they're still burgeoning in their evilness. Well, but also the <sighs> fact that, like, Murdoch has the entire government by such balls that he forces the government to pass a legislation to get, give him over-market advertising rates. Because, like, look, Facebook or Google isn't going to pay us anymore. I'm not saying that they should pay it. Like, I mean, ideally, they, I would like them to pay us more. But I'm not complaining about that. Why does the richest person, one of the richest people on earth, get to, like, force another organization to via, like, our government that we elect to get them a better deal? And then, also, when you say this, the comment section go, like, oh, you don't know what you're saying. Facebook is evil. I'm sure they're evil, but, like, this fucking Murdoch evil giant has... The entire government by balls that they can force them to pick fights with huge corporations that can have, I don't know, like, I'm just saying, like, have you guys noticed that this is a little unfair? <laughs> <laughs> Ollie's Discuss? Corner. Discuss? Is that what we're saying? Yeah, do you think it's unfair? All right, let's just do a poll on that. Do you think that this is, do you agree with Ali? <laughs> yes that it's no? unfair. <laughs> That Ali should have been in that Senate committee and he would have spoke reason to them. Yeah, it's, it is, it's, it's, it's really ridiculous that how much power Murdoch and like the media giants have. But I just thought that everyone knew. Well, I didn't know that. And I find it awesome because as I've just been saying a lot recently, it's created a dichotomy of power. So that's great. Because of Murdoch and his like extra fucking, I don't know, $50,000 a month, entire Australian news network, at least through Facebook, was blacked out. So we were suffering the consequences. We weren't and suffering. And also we were like, well, look, I mean, technically we were Suff suffering. I the certainly wasn't suffering. You no, were I suffering know, from for success. Two days. Yeah. Suffering, yeah. suffering from success. For two they days. They should have a suffering from success two <laughs> and then in brackets days. And then get my face looking like DJ Khaled's on the phone. With a tear With tattoo. That. And then just a tear, tear tattoo? tattoo, sure, why not? But also a ring that has Facebook on it. Just the logo. Yes! <laughs> but it's gold? Yeah, okay. Like blinged out? <laughs> yeah. Fuck, that's a good I thought idea. it was a gold decision. Yeah, dude. But I'm pretty- Argue with that. Well, look, <laughs> I, I, I understand how like in our subjective- circumstances that this band was good, but I'm talking about the country, all right? No, I think it was good for the country as well. Well, I get, It starved boomers of propaganda for two days. That, okay, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, that's not what I'm arguing. I, I know that it did, and it was like Fuck neck world. good in that way, but I just don't like that for like a small media oligarchy, they can convince the government to put the entire country at jeopardy. At jeopardy? Well, look, I mean, I understand like how blocking the news, but from their perspective, the government, at least, from like the government's perspective, mm. having access to news for Australia is a good thing or a bad thing. And good thing. Good thing, right? So they're willing to let that good thing go to appease openly this media lobby, basically Murdoch and Fairfax, right? For them, they're willing to put the entire country in darkness and not willing to budge. And then also, 
the fucking irony of this whole situation is that you go into the comments, the media Murdoch machinery is so powerful that they can even manipulate public opinion where people just go like, you guys don't know what you're talking about. Facebook is really bad. Murdoch is not as bad. It's like, well, this one guy has the entire country by the balls and somehow we're still supposed to look away from them for like a future dangerous prospect. Is that what people were saying in the comments? Because I saw a lot of people under, say, the Herald Sun saying, this is really bad. And also, here's a bunch of stories about how Facebook helps pedos. Just coincidentally, we just put that out on the same day that we got blocked. Facebook helps pedos. Okay. Um... Well, you didn't read the exclusive. No, I didn't. Yeah, I think it's... I, I didn't read into it as well, but it's just the same thing that the media does. This is what they did with Jody McKay. Mm. Just tenuously link them to pedos. <laughs> it's a, Right, Jesus. I mean, it's the way to sully someone's name. Well, it is, it's yeah, a, yeah. It's yeah. the way to do it. And also, when you look at Zuckerberg, maybe. Yeah, very, 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 very possibly. Very is he possibly. A ro- he's a robot. His name's Zingerberger. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He, actually. Dude, he is a fucking robot, though. All those memes of him—it's just like, how can an alien? Alien? How can he? Be, how can one man be so pale? It's like he's the palest man on earth. Well, that's very fitting for somebody who created a yeah. social media empire. Hey, 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 stole. Take that. What do you mean, stole? Oh, from the like guy Andrew from Garfield? V for Vendetta. Yeah. <laughs> what? So Andrew Garfield got like four grand out of Facebook. Yeah. Is that what happened? Something like that. Yeah. I've seen the movie. And he created it. Two words for that. And so wasn't, wasn't but like that's every Facebook story. supposed Same to be Nackers. like original Tinder? Like he did, he did that to get laid. Re- well, yeah, it, it was, was Tinder it was, for a while. Was it? I can guarantee you there was a lot of hookups back in the day that would not have eventuated if I didn't have access to Facebook where you could just sit there and slide into the M's. True. And just yeah. what, is it like, Instagram? Hi, what are you up to? NM, lol. <laughs> Instagram is a dating app now. Right, Mr. Uh, you reckon? Uh, I think it's a dating app yeah, for hot, agree. dumb people. Because like even <laughs> don't don't say it. I asked Miss Love, um, because because Miss Love is the only single person, so Jordan and I both live vicariously through <laughs> him. So I was forcing him to contact this girl on one of the uh one of his like uh Facebook thing. FB and, and Jordan oh uh, sorry, uh Miss Love was like I can't contact her on Facebook. That's too creepy. I'm going to have to do it on Instagram. Yeah, that's the Which vibe. Which means Instagram is a dating site. It pretty much is. Yeah, it pretty much is. It's that and like, uh, you know, I assume it's still used by companies selling things. <laughs> but other than that, it kind of has become a thing of like, yeah, dating or like talking to people, meeting people. You wouldn't really, I don't think you would do that on Facebook as much. Facebook just kind of seems to be for boomers now. Um, and keeping in touch with people that, you know, it's easy, but some, on Messenger. But, but some people still use Facebook for like, yeah, those news articles and sharing things. I don't. I, I, sure I as always shit thought don't. that Facebook is now just for boomers. I think it is. But I've, I feel like some some Gen Y, it's Gen uh, Zoomers. The only reason I'm on Facebook is the guitar pedal exchange website. And, and Messenger. And Messenger, and that's it. All right, so that's what it is. It's just for boomers to keep in contact, and it's the modern day trading post. Yeah, yeah, exactly. that's, that's actually, what it is. Marketplace that is what it's marketplace become. is huge, and that's a big. It's just gum tree. It's just a. It's just like another gum Global tree. Global gum tree. Yeah. Huh. Well, <laughs> so you're not missing out on anything. Yeah, I know. I don't even like. I don't yeah. think that you're just missing out on social media in general. Yeah, except for friendly Geordies. But apart from that, like and subscribe. Also, uh, and buy I- a shirt. Can I ask another thing? I know this is way too late in the controversy, but can you explain to me if you know this? Camera on you. Uh, yeah, don't fuck this up. It's live. No, 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 no. no. Like, this is, I'm just <laughs> generally, this is a curious question. That's why we should rename this podcast. So, yeah. Google, like, what is the basis for Murdoch or news websites to charge Google extra? Because the way I see it, I know this is a really outdated conversation, but, like, the way I see it, it's just a search engine, right? It directs you to the website anyways. Why should they get extra money? For no reason. No. So they're straight it's up- It's just they're really just extorting money out of these poor, extremely poor companies that have no cash what, flow at Facebook? all. Facebook? And yeah. who are like, the journalists are in the journalists <laughs> are suffering. But man, most journalists suck balls anyways. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's a good thing. Yeah. I wish that they completely blacked out all press. <laughs> Jesus. I do think that that's true. Technocracy. I can't verse. remember which one it was. Maybe it was uh, Benjamin Franklin, but one of the founding forefathers said, Benny. if you don't read the papers, you're uninformed. If you do read the papers, you're misinformed. 
And I think it's better to be uninformed than <laughs> misinformed. I think that people would make more rational decisions if they were voting purely on what the flyers in their mailbox told them as opposed to the news. Really? Yeah, because everybody thinks that the news is impartial. That's You've just true. been conditioned and brainwashed into thinking that it's this true. completely uh, non-biased umpire entity. Yeah. But when you're looking at those pamphlets, you know what it is. And so, really, you're just voting on whoever comes up with the best pamphlets, which is the Liberal Party anyway. Just cut out the middleman. They have the best pamphlets? Fine. Instead of just constantly cozying up to Murdoch, it'd be so much better if they just got a bunch of companies to Xerox paper. You'd probably make more jobs as well (laughs) and lower income jobs. And it'd have the other bonus of all of these bunyip aristocracy nepotism class pale cunts not having a job. I see. I see why uh, you'd be. You'd be. Is the bigger picture here just like Google versus Murdoch? And it's and the only and here's the only difference. They're both evil. It's just that Murdoch is propping up mining companies and coal, so they're going to destroy the earth. Whereas like all the technocracies, all all the tech and data retention, you know, t- data retention companies are just sort of like we're we're evil too, and robot dogs are going to kill you, but. We like the Amazon, and we don't want to destroy the world. Yes, yeah, pretty. Well, much. well, That's I know which difference. I know which horse I'm betting on, at least yeah. temporarily, at least <laughs> until like the robot dogs start running after me. Yeah, there was really no downside to this week. The only downside is that Facebook said, "Yeah, we're going to put back news." Do so you know, what like, happened? Okay, what actually I, happened? Well, with the okay, negotiation? I'll give you like one example of like I was recently reading this. Um, I think <sighs> it's either the UK or the US where there was a court ruling that said Uber drivers are Uber employees. So that's a, a judgment which will have to be legislated. That's a good one because you know who it helps? It helps like hundreds of thousands of the poorest people in the UK who drive Ubers. This is helping two rich guys. Who won out of this? I feel like there is a, a, there's a better way to take on tech companies. Who, yeah, obviously. Who won out of this? Huh? How did Facebook win? Seems like they didn't. They obviously got concessions. I think that what happened is Google went behind closed doors and gave out some sweetheart deal. I think they ended up paying. It was so pathetic. I bet you Murdoch and Fairfax spent more on lobbyists, more on, uh, you know, legal battles than they actually got out of this deal. Because Facebook and – no, I think it was just Google. Google ended up giving them a payout of, I think, about $10 each. Just to ScoMo's mates. It's just They might have just gotten a small amount of money more than what they would have just by going along with the ride. But if that's a one-time lump sum right. payment, what's the, how is that supporting journalism? That's just like you just extorted a company out of money. I think that what happened is it became a war of attrition and people within the Murdoch empire were saying, this is stupid, we're really not going to win this. And it was kind of just a token of face. It was... Like in the trade war with Trump versus China, how China got everything that it wanted out of the trade war. Did it? And, yeah, just to be nice because it benefited them as well. They said, "Uh, yeah, okay, we'll buy more agricultural goods from the US, which they were planning to do regardless. But they gave them that win to save face. I think that's what happened behind closed doors. So basically, Facebook won and Murdoch lost. I think so. Because if it's a face saving. And I think that's true because... Whatever happened, we don't know what happened behind closed doors, but it's very unlikely that it was a win for the government because you could see the government panicking. Yeah. Like right after that happened, they hadn't prepared for it. They didn't expect it. And to be fair, and I know this is going to be an unpopular opinion coming from me and me only, Panthera, Panthera, Panthera. uh, I think Facebook did the right thing. Telling them to like fucking fuck off. Oh, that's not an unpopular idea. That's a very I think they did the right thing too. I think I think our government, <laughs> the liberal liberal run government, is uh is is overreaching on a lot of other things. On a lot of things. Like messing with Facebook is putting a, 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 our population at risk when we don't have the capital or the strength in sheer population size to be able to deal with that. Like we could deal get with crushed what? to be able to deal with someone like Facebook. Look, at the end of the day. Look, we love our country and everything, but we're a small country. We don't have the same level of bargaining power that uh, a country like China or the US does. When they t- pay, t- uh, pick these big fights, at least there's a chance of them winning. When our government, without even asking us, picks these fights, I know we're going to lose. Mm. 
Like, there's how are we supposed to win against the you know the the next dominating global power that these tech companies but, are? Well, as the <laughs> only fight that they were ever going to pick against a global power, and that's what was so beautiful about it. Because it caused a rift. And I was talking about this to you off air as well, Ali. I think the right person to ask this question to is Miss Love. He's clearly going to be <laughs> the biggest expert in this field. But no doubt. If you were the Liberal government. Rookie. Left and right of me. Rookies. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, on. I'm on the left. We're in the right. master class with Miss Love Balabragic now. Here's how you govern. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but <clears throat> I was asking Ali and. I don't think that you gave me an answer to it because I don't think there is an answer. But if you were in their shoes and you have down the corridor a bunch of lobbyists from Facebook and Google saying, don't you dare pass the bargaining code, and then you have Murdoch and Fairfax saying, you better pass that bargaining code. Yeah. What do you do in that scenario? If I'm what, the libs. If, if I was the libs, I think that I played that out exactly how it should have been played out because there's... It's a damned if you do, damned if you don't yeah. scenario for them. I think. Okay, yeah. let's ask our audience. Yeah, what, what would yeah, you guys would have you, done if you were Scott Morrison and knowing that your power base is the Murdoch press, you owe your prime ministership to the Murdoch press? Yeah, what would you do? Jordan. Jordan and also, the fact is, but you're also pissing off two of the most powerful companies on earth. These are companies that can block the president of the United States from speaking and did. <laughs> What do you do? That's crazy. It's, I think, well, while we wait for an answer, <laughs> uh, ad bot said suicide. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I, I think like, look, the, 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 it's a difficult question to answer because we know the power of one of the lobby groups, which is the Murdoch and the Fairfax. We know what they can do and how devastating that can be. We are yet to know what happens when you've got Facebook and Google on uh on the other side, we'll I, we we are yet to see what, how what their powers. You like. know how I sort of disagree though. I think um, with what you said, and like, you know how you were saying um, we're a small country. There's no point. You might be right, but I the reason I thought it was fucked is that the libs were doing it on behalf of Murdoch to get an even stronger stranglehold on like the the news in Australia, that's the, was the fucked part. It's like, why are you fighting for this kind like that? But if they were fighting for, uh, let's say a free press or something, yeah, I agree then, with that. then I yeah. agree with that too. Look, then I'd say the, go for it. Who cares the, if you're fucking lose? It's yeah, the look, principle. Uh, then that's the sacrificial element that comes in here. If it's truly a good fight, yeah. if you can truly see that whatever this fight is, it's yeah. against, you know, it's it's against the Goliath or whatever, David. Yeah, then it's a worth bigger it. One. Of course it's worth and it. And if it's something that like truly helps most of the population, then I can be willing to get behind it. I still know we're going to lose, but at least That's that would be a, a life point. worth losing, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when like, but you're when fucking Murdoch. sacrificing us for like a really, really rich guy because you're afraid of him and then you expect me to be like really loyal. But then another, and also just like another tyrant. It's like, we choose a tyrant. It's like, the only but that's the struggle of history. Yeah, it is. But that's why I say, you know, it's almost complicated because on one side, it's like, I don't like the idea of complete, that Facebook can have complete control over information like that, which let's be honest, is the reality. And that is kind of worrying. But um, yeah, you know, I think that they're less evil than Murdoch. Well, remains Definitely. to be seen, but we know for sure that Murdoch is evil. It's the it's the probability thing, right? On on one hand, you have Facebook, which can be really evil, or it can be like okay, and then you've got Murdoch, which we know is evil. Yeah, but who it, do you pick? A mathematician both, would pick Facebook. Yeah, no, they're both because evil. At least there's a chance of it being less evil. <laughs> well, they're they're both fucking evil. It's just Facebook, I think, is slightly less evil because they're not funded by coal companies. They're funded. They have more. They they have more of a uh, in, if anything, probably more funding from like, you know, like a uh, Silicon Valley, like turtle net jumper wearing hippie billionaires that buy big swaths of the Amazon. That's well, better. For climate change, certainly. But yeah. look, I, we, I think we've been, hey, on some, here's yeah. some good news. Have you checked WA polls? No. Yes, I have. And I enjoyed it thoroughly. What do you think? The opposition is saying that this is going to be like a Bill Shorten-like thing and the polls will be completely off. 
I don't is know how often. Yeah, that's what they're saying. But I don't know how off these polls can be. Wait, but it little, looks like Shorten's polls were off by like one point. Yeah. Talk about dictator Dan. It's going to be dictator McGowan, whatever his name is. He is the Wait, true isn't, dictator. Isn't it already fucking Labour in Western Australia? Yeah, but it's going to yeah. be. But it's Mo. Apparently, Labor. they're about to wipe out oh, the Liberal Party. Mo Labo. I think that's just the key to winning elections. There's a poll that gain power and then shut off the border. <laughs> do they have a senate in western australia yeah, yeah, yeah they do. but apparently like but he's gonna have more trouble controlling the senate but look the, the fucking um the parliament if the polls are right the liberal party is gonna be left with two parliamentarians wouldn't it be amazing if that that's was crazy wrong? for and Perth. they have one yeah <laughs> that's the opposition and it's just it like, really would be the parking meter party at that point <laughs> they should just go with that and it's just change that. your name because it's too toxic <laughs> Fuck. But it's crazy. So the thing is, lockdowns are really popular. I don't know why the Liberal Party is uh, anti-lockdown, thinking that's going to get them votes. I think most Australians love lockdowns. I know. And they're also trying to have a really they do, nuanced eh? opinion about it, of saying, we, we, we want a, a lockdown, but just not a hard lockdown. You've already lost the public at that point. Yeah. yeah. Plus, Perth... Stop trying to explain... Perth was the, the OG, the, the originators of the lockdown. They did it before fucking Melbourne, like the first wave... And didn't have no, one case. No, they've always been locked down. Like, as soon as there's like, uh, there's one case in Bali, they're like, lockdown. Yeah, but that's what I'm but saying. They're great thing. at it. It's, it works. I thought it was something that would get them, but like, I was talking to my mum and my brother who are like truly the average person. Hey, we're on 420 viewers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Um, and they were like very supportive of these kinds of lockdowns. They're like, yeah, close the border. You don't want anything coming. You, you just want to, you want the community to be safe. And that's when I knew that, okay, maybe lockdowns are the popular strategy. <laughs> I mean, I suppose they're just common sense, aren't they? Yeah, I suppose. It's so funny that in America, because they're like such freedom-loving, bald eagle dudes and girls or whatever, that they're just sort of like, don't lock me in my house. I want Cheerios. And Australians are just sort of just like, yeah, sick. To fucking watch cricket. Yeah, I never leave my house anyway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't have to leave it ever. It's fucking mad. It's so much better. So much better. It's so and lazy. also just Australia's constant suspicion of outsiders. It plays on that oh, as well. Yes, just being like out But there. I, th I think everyone has a suspicion of outsiders. I think there's such a really good tactic. No, but I meant like... Tough. On outside... I wasn't even talking about outside. I was talking about like interstate travel lockdown. Like, sure, even when it comes to outsiders, I'm on the same boat. Fuck them. But I was talking about like, uh, you know... People going from like Queensland to New South Wales. I and feel like that should have more tolerance. Of, you could have a travel bubble from where? West Australia to Northern Territory. No one's doing that. <laughs> why would you? Why would you want that travel bubble? Yeah, that, that is a, that is a just keep Northern Territory locked out permanently. <laughs> it would have no impact on your economy. No, it wouldn't. I, I assume it wouldn't. South Australia too, what, for that what matter. What have they got there? <laughs> Maybe crocodile meat. There'll be a, a, yeah. a severe lack in Western Australia. Yeah, and that is troubling. Okay, <laughs> Jack Lang. <laughs> Jack Lang is based. He changed my mind. What to do? Yeah. Jack Lang is based. Deaf says. Let's face it, even if there was no pandemic, closing the borders would still be popular in WA. That's what I think. Yeah, they want to. Yeah. They want to secede. They do they, do they like McGam people? delivered? I've never been to I've never been to WA, but like, do they like when people from uh, the East Coast come and visit, or they're just like, ah, oh, fuck off? Well, no, they like I've got to say that it has to be the friendliest town in Oz. But that's because you're famous. But do they? Do no, they like no, nah, 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 they're nice people. Meth heads that are always the only place that they have there. I don't even think that Coles exists there. All they have is Hungry Jacks. But every time, so many getting, Hungry you Jacks. Can't not go to Perth and have Hungry Jacks. No. It's kind of like going to Singapore and not having Singaporean noodles. Yeah, <laughs> Singapore noodles, yeah. Um, He's right. <laughs> like how Michelin was just sitting there, like the hype there. He's like, that's right, yeah, Singapore noodles. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's yes. yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the little John of me. <laughs> just every sentence. <laughs> yeah. I'm just that like dude okay. who, who bigs up the rappers and be like, yeah, man, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> 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 That's all you need 
to be on one of those hip hop southern stations. <laughs> is to just sit there and be like, yeah, we're oh, so you're taking a break from an album? True, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're working on that. Yeah. You gotta take up your time. And then like the next guy comes in. Yo, you've been busy, man. You've been putting out four albums. You showing all of them other rappers that this how you do it. This is how yes. you get on your grind. Yeah. yeah. Back with Sway. <laughs> Sway in the mornings, yo. Get it, get at it. <laughs> yo, yo, Kanye, I'm not saying that, dog. I'm not saying that. Yo, you need to calm down. No, no, we don't. I get rid of these microphones right here. We don't need these microphones. We can turn these cameras off and just talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love that interview. Have you seen that? No. You haven't seen Sway in the mornings interviewing Kanye? Is Sway the one that you see interviewing every hip hop artist? Yeah. Uh, Matt, and there's like a I guy there that you look at every time that's just on a DJ set that I think as soon as Def Cham comedy went defunct, they just went, yo, you want a job, man? He's like, oh, I need one. Yeah. And then he just went in there and you just squint every time. You're like, are you Mexican or black? I can't tell. Is that is that, that guy? Mean, very, very probably that, yeah. yeah. There's also a girl, a lady that um, is also like a hype upper. She just like laughs a lot. And she's just like, that, you know that's that's the stuff. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah. a big and fan. And you can see the pain in her eyes because you always think you wanted to be Nicki Minaj. <laughs> <laughs> Who did it? I want to be Nicki Minaj. But yeah, Ali yeah, genuinely just... does. <laughs> um, look, the the general consensus of the comments about WA people was that look, we're pretty mad about people from the East Coast. We don't care that much. Nah, yeah. Um, you can't not care. You're too unpopulated to notice, and not enough of us go there. But I will say this to anybody that is thinking of going somewhere, especially in this COVID time. This is my COVID. Well, look, go COVID to man. Western Australia. <laughs> go to West Australia. Yeah, go. West See. Australia You'll is have to go next the time. best state go. in the country. Would you be sad? In terms of, it's like, it's, it's just nothing it's but a toxic like a, waste dump. But <laughs> the, it's kind of like, a, it's very like, African desert looking. It's very deserty. It, I'm sure it looks. Yeah, it does. Cool. I've it looks seen, like I've seen how the Mad I imagine Max South movies. Africa would look. I've mm. seen Mad yeah. Max. Like I know it would look cool. But here's the question: Would you, on a scale of one to ten, how disappointed would you be if there was a Wexit? I'd be really sad. I'd be sad. Because then we can't. Because I'd then, be as sad of we, a Wexit as I would be at a new entrance. <laughs> I wouldn't mind news entrance. I'm kind of pro news entrance, but I'm actually pro yeah, news entrance. Yeah, because you just want to be able to go to the Lord of the Rings tour site without having like, to get out your passport. I think like well, that funny. is an added bonus, but that's not the only reason. It's well, the is there any other too? reason? I think Kiwi better, accent better slopes, is the best bruh. in the world. I strongly disagree. So I think it's the funniest. It is the funniest. So, it is the funniest. Because, like, look, coming from an outsider, from an outsider, you you first learn the Australian accent, then you get a hang of the Australian accent, then you listen to someone from New Zealand. You know, it just sounds like it's an Australian person, but they're retarded. Yeah, it is. So it's so funny, funny to yeah. me. It's really funny it's to so me. Well, I think that it yeah. sounds like they're an Australian with a sock in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Everything sounds like this. Ah, a sock in their mouth. Wait, wait, wait. Ali, come on, give us a go. Yes. Right. Give us your best New Zealand accent. Well, I've got a new house and there's a big dick in the back. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. You know what? No, not bad. He's better at the New Zealand accent than he's the Australian any other one. accent. Hey. Uh, yeah, right. Any other one. True. <laughs> I've got yeah, a you are. under my that belt. That was pretty good. You could be married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I wish I was. But I would be sad of a Wexit because it, lowers the chances of me going to Fremantle and just possibly seeing Kevin Parker at all. I just that those the chance goes from go, the chance of seeing him now is like 1% and then it goes to like 0.5%. So I can't have that. And you're also missing out on a key reason that you would be very sad about that and that is that you can't go and look at that Bon Scott statue. <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> again. Look at it and go the free man to yeah, like, nudge me in the ribs and say, he's from here, you know? Yeah. And let's not forget. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know. I'm sure <laughs> yes. I did that. And then I just stood, I just stared, I stared at it and just was like, I was like, <sighs> you're very that lucky good. that I was there instead of Ali. Why? Because after you nudged him in the ribs, he turned around and said, who's Bon Scott? Yeah, and I would have been like, <laughs> what? It's <laughs> true. Oh, isn't that ACDC? Oh, do yeah. you know that? Yeah, I know that. How do you know that? that? I so have to do the citizenship test. Yeah, fair Fuck enough. Fair Are you enough. joking? It should be a question. Oh, okay. But it, should it, be. it probably yeah. was. Dude, Frio was 
It's but pretty also, disappointing. Like, let's be honest. Here's another. Here's another fact for us East Coast. Frio people. was just Bondi with a lot of fish processing plants. Yeah, Frio was just like. Here's, uh, no, you know what it actually was. It was Newtown by the beach. Yeah, which is nicer than and Newtown. And also actually was Newtown by the beach because as we learned, there is just a bunch of secret fishmongering factories there. Yeah, it was weird. And it was also just sort of like, here's something you'll never see anywhere else in Australia, an Italian flag. Oh, I didn't know there was an Italian population here. Well, there wasn't a big one. Come back again. <laughs> Did you look at the prison? No. Hey, don't worry. You didn't miss me. <laughs> That's essentially a Simpsons joke. I can't believe you guys could be oh, Simpsons right Okay, guys, guys, guys. At this point. Is yeah. this, this, I've got two, I need to make this video. I don't even think it'll get very good views. It'll get 130,000 in two years and I'll be fine with that. But we really need to make, I was going to say the top 10 Simpsons jokes, but we're going to have to level it out to 30. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's minimum, too much. minimum. Yeah. That's too if, much. But I think the two <laughs> big entrants for it is Homer watching TV, and then you hear a presenter on the TV say, "Tonight on Wings." Uh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> so good. I don't even know what Wings is, and it's funny. Yeah. And also, Kearney doing the shittest dance on earth when Marge is a teacher, and Marge saying, "That's a very nice jig, Kearney." Yeah, I love that pummeling Bart. Yeah, so good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Should we go into this or should we go into the up late podcast? But we still I got five think minutes. I'm a born again Christian. Oh yes, we there will we go. do that. We'll the do the, the up late podcast. And Finally, here's a sizzle for you. <laughs> yeah. Make sure that you become a member for just a, 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 a let's be honest, extremely overpriced payment weekly. You can get no, more of this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Here's the thing. This up late. Look, like I said, I've been looking at the stock market and I have recommendations for Uplate audience exclusively Mm -hmm. so that you can make back every dollar that you spent on us. Uh, Damn straight. And I'm following the advice too. I am not an economist and I may take all your money, but I have a feeling that I won't. No, no, no. He's right. Short term investment for you, a medium term investment for you, and a long term investment for you. None of these investments. I bet you the long term investment is invest in BHP. No. Mid term silver. No. How about this? Let's nah, let's the, let's let's the phone company. I'll do I'll do one. I'll All do right, the long yeah. term one now. Phone. I'll do the long term one now. It is a company called Pointera, not Panthera. Pointera. Shit. Look it up. It's less than one dollar. It might not work out, but it could be the next Google as well. Okay, so instead of being a uh, robo debt collecting company, <laughs> what <laughs> micro? Micros of the man 12 said, so, so I would not take a commie's financial <laughs> advice. Fair enough, fair enough. But this kind of I think that you should take a commie's financial summer. advice because their entire life is critiquing cra- capitalism. Yeah, true. So they know what works. Yeah. I think it's the same thing as when a lot of people say, oh, politicians are corrupt, myself included. But I think that another big factor of it is you understand how society functions. And as a result of understanding how society functions, you can make good investments. It's the same thing that, like, I'm constantly True. researching how the housing market is evil for a living. And I just keep coming back to the same conclusion. Man, I need to invest in the housing market. Well, really? Yeah. But even... Of so, I, right. I'll, give you, I'll give you, like, a little... So, this company that I'm talking about, I wanted to keep, like... The, okay, like, the short-term and medium one will be up late for, like... But look up Pointera. It is a... It's a Sydney-based company that is basically developed a cloud that what, what they will do is, or what they are doing is, that all of the, you know, the um, the data that comes from drones that maps, and like, entire towns, like, for town planning, for all sorts of stuff, it's basically a cloud that analyzes the metadata and it uh, makes it into, like, shapes and stuff for you. So it's really useful for companies that get Jesus. those metadata footages Scary. and want to be able to analyze it and showcase it to their clients. So basically what I'm saying is this company has like insane potential. Will it happen or will it not happen? I don't know. But the share price is under $1. It's worth just buying a few and True. just keeping it in the back. And you're so trying to you, spike you need the to, stock. You don't need to think of <laughs> what? Trying to spike the stock. Well, we'd like our incredible. This is awesome. I, I do it? this. It's just like CNBC, Ali's hour. Yeah. But anyway, uh, that's, that, I, I wanted to keep this for the up late because <laughs> I've been. Silver. But the medium term and the short term one Please will be for the young yeah. silver. No, I'm actually really excited <laughs> because be silver of Jordan. I need to start doing that shit because here's my here's my fucking financial advice. Don't bother going to Westpac for a fucking high interest savings account. 
His blood returns is shit. You know why? Because you're COVID. All right, tune in next week. Fucking yeah, shit. Yeah, don't, don't park your money in banks. You actually end up losing money. Fucking bullshit. But thank but you I for think joining. that we all know why you should become a member of the Uplay podcast and is because of Miss Love's financial advice, <laughs> not Ali's. We will see you next week. Like I said, all advice is uh, based on my own individual understanding. I might be wrong. You might end up losing your money. But it's if you end up spending like $100 on it, it's $100 that you lost. That hundred dollars could eventually become five thousand dollars. So I think it's worth spending. I back well, my myself. advice is spend it on sports bet. I back myself one hundred percent. If what? I'm wrong, come. I'll give you my address and come fight me. All right, thank you guys for joining us today, and we'll see some of you, the good ones of you, for the Uplay podcast. If you haven't become a patron, please do become a patron. Yeah, we're not going to wear any pants in the Uplay podcast. In fact, we're not going to wear any undies either. We will be sitting here balls, with our shirts on, but balls. the rest of it all out, and we'll be giving financial advice and while half naked. if we get 1,000 patrons, which is a fair few, <laughs> we, will make, we will make the human centipede. Jesus. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, fine, fine. All that's, right, that's, well, thank you guys. Well, well my bag's being in the front. All right, well, that's your move, but I want to be in the middle. Oh. <laughs>